Hello, my name's Martin and I'm a reptile holic. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Tarantula Cave. It's uh, great to be back with the second part in my Costa Rica series. Um, some of you will be wondering what that strange intro was all about. Surely I'm a tarantula guy, right? Well, actually, no. I started off um, as a fish keeper, so my big passion was tropical fish. I still have tropical fish, and very soon after that I became a complete reptile junkie, and I just wanted to share some stuff with you. So, the field guide to reptiles and amphibians of eastern and central North America. A complete guide to reptiles of Australia. Snakes of Southeast Asia. Red-tailed boas. Agamid lizards. Savannah monitors. Green iguanas. How to eat rat snakes. More books about agamid lizards. The A to Z of snakes. Second edition, Herpetology. This amazing book by Mark Leiter. And that's not all because, really, the main thing that proves that I'm a reptile junkie is this little book here, which is my PhD thesis on speciation in two subspecies of Laudakia stellio, the starred agamid in the Greek Cyclades Islands. It took me a little while to write this one. So um, yeah, if anything, I'm a reptile nut, not a fish nut, not a tarantula nut, but uh, do I have any reptiles now? No. Do I like to go traveling and find reptiles and take awesome pictures of them? You bet I do. So this is the lizards of Costa Rica as presented by me, as photographed and recorded a couple of weeks ago. I know you guys are gonna love this, but this is really for my reptile junkie friends out there. Enjoy.
So hopefully I've persuaded some of you that Costa Rica has some pretty cool lizards. For me, the highlight of this trip definitely was seeing the green basilisk. So, so, so awesome. Um, but I've got a real soft spot for annals as well because they were the thing that first got me to Costa Rica um, when I was lucky enough to do the hummingbird project. Initially it had been to study annals in the cloud forest in Monteverde, um, but they are incredible masters of disguise and in the end we just worked out we weren't gonna see enough of them to do any decent science. So hummingbirds it was, but every time I see an annal, a male annal displaying, I just think, yeah, that's so awesome. They have these wicked dewlaps of different colors and they bob their heads around and lizards are amazing. And um, yeah, I've always enjoyed seeing them in the wild. All those guidebooks are because I've been to those countries and I've seen lizards there too. But that was before this YouTube channel, otherwise I'll be sharing all of that with you as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, share it, tell your friends. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe using the subscribe button below. If you've got anything to say, I'd love to hear it. Leave it in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.